Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial for Pirates of Voxel Play. Today we're going to be changing player models. Changing the character model is pretty straightforward. It is recommended that we duplicate an existing character prefab and modify it. So let's do that. I'm going to go under Pirates of Voxel Play, Game, Prefabs, Player Prefabs, and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to duplicate it. Now I'm just going to double click on it and we can see the prefab that we just duplicated. The first thing we need to do is find our other character. Now I've made a new folder under assets called characters and I've imported a character here. Now I'm going to click on this guy and we can see the import settings here on the right in the inspector. And the first thing we need to do in order for this to work is to change the animation type from generic to humanoid. And of avatar definition create from this model and just apply. And that should be fine. Now, if I just drag and drop this guy under Crouch, you can see that he's not aligned with the character. Now, we have to align this guy. You can see that the pivot is at the base of the object. The same happens to be the case for the other character. So, we can see the values here. Transform minus 1 in the y-axis and minus 0.1 in the z-axis. I'm just going to copy these values and paste them on the new character. Now this is fairly, if you can see the outline of the character, they are fairly aligned and that's good enough. I'm just going to disable this animator because we're not going to be using it. We're going to be using the animator on the base object, player controller network. And if we scroll down here, you can see that there is an animator here. But the thing is, we need to change the avatar definition. So when we made the uh, change from uh, generic to humanoid, this created an avatar. And I can see this under this uh, object here, under the EFPX, I can see free characters avatar. I'm going to go here on the base object, I'm going to go into the animator, and I'm going to drag and drop the new definition. Now that that's done, it will not throw any errors if we just disable this character guy here, the first one. It will play, but we won't have the correct alignment for the weapons. How do we do that? Well, let's reopen this guy again and check out what his right hand looks like. I'm just going to go under the hierarchy here. Spine, spine, right clavicle, right upper arm, forearm, hand. Okay, and uh, under pivot and local, we can see the direction of the hand here. And you can see the x-axis is pointing towards the center and the z-axis is pointing forward. And we need to replicate this in our other character. And so we can go under this guy's hierarchy and find the same thing, the same object, the hand, and check it out. And if I hide this guy, you can see this. And you can see that the z-axis is pointing backwards and the y-axis is pointing outwards instead of uh, this in this direction. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new empty object and we're going to call it bipedar hand and we're going to use that one. So I'm just going to go game object, create empty. I'm going to call it bipedar hand. I'm going to throw it under the... Uh, the Navy officer's, the Navy captain's hand here. I'm going to reset transforms. So this is aligned correctly. You can see the Z axis is pointing forward and the Y axis is pointing towards the center. And then I'm just going to move it under the right hand of the other character. And I'm going to position it slightly to the right. I'm going to just move it like so and like so. So now the orientation matches the orientation of the other character. So now we can test this. I'm just going to leave this guy disabled here and I'm going to press back here so everything's saved. But in order to test it, we need to change some things. We have to go under prefabs, network manager, and we need to assign the correct prefab under player prefabs and registered spawnable prefabs. I'm just going to go under player prefabs and drag our new player network one under here. And under here. And if we've done everything correctly up until now, we will be able to start a game and shoot some things. So I'm just going to go under Game, Scenes, Lobby, press Play, and press Single Player. 
as you can see an arrow appears there is no bow and I can throw the arrow and it's pretty much aligned I can change weapons and I can shoot blocks and enemies and a headshot there and animations are playing you can see them in the shadow okay so I can throw the objects and the character works everything works so I'm just gonna stop this there are a couple of things we need to do before we're finished here and I'm just gonna do them by going back to the prefab player prefabs player networked okay we need to be able to attack the character and in Pirates of Voxel Play we do that by adding colliders and damage taker components so let's do that and I'm gonna go into the uh, Navy character and we're gonna check it out how it's set up here and if we go under biped biped pelvis we can see there is a box collider and a network damage taker and if I find the head there's a box collider and a network damage taker and the damage multiplier is 2 so if you hit the head you cause more damage so let's do that and see how it works out I'm just gonna disable this guy I'm gonna go under my character the new character and I'm gonna add just a couple of bones I'm just gonna add the head bone and a chest bone and you can do the rest yourselves so I'm going under the head I'm gonna add a component box collider I'm gonna change the size And I'm going to add a damage taker modifier. And I'm going to increase the damage multiplier to 2. And let's add one to the chest as well. So let's go to spine 2, for example. Add box collider. Let's adjust the size. And now that that's set up, we can go in and test the game again. So I'm just going to go press back here, and that saves the prefab. I'm just going to go play, because we're in the lobby scene. Single player. And I can still shoot an arrow. I can still shoot my gun, and I... And now the uh, leopard can, uh, can attack me. I've already lost some health. And we can check out the character here. I'm just going to press escape. I'm going to go under game. I'm going to find the model here under scene. Press F. And you can see it's pretty much aligned. It's not perfect because the dimensions are not the same. But you can adjust the animations or use IK to move these objects and make it your own. Thanks and I hope this helps you out with customizing Pirates of Voxel Play. See you in the next tutorial.